friends in this video we will discuss about the data collection in this video we will discuss about the primary data secondary data quantitative data qualitative data what are the sources of the uh, primary data and secondary data like survey method and observational method so let's start today's video actually for conducting a research it is a must to collect a data it is a basically the information that is required for investigating a research problem after the proper designing the importance of data collection lies in the fact that without gathering a particular information the research could not be carried out the data may be primary or secondary usually the methods of primary data collection in behavioral science include observational method interview method questionnaire method and through database the sources of the secondary data include the previously published books magazine journals etc data collection is mandatory to accomplish the research process and therefore it is the fundamental tool of research actually data collection is uh, is important in obtaining the knowledge or information required to answer the research issue every research collected data either from the literature or the people being studied and data must be collected from the two categories of the researcher first is primary source and second is secondary sources now why the data collection is very important what are the importance of the data collection and the importance of the data collection is the data collection provide you the base of your research data collection discover the cause and effect relationship between research and variables and data collection helpful in your problem solving or research problem solving now we will discuss about the types of data popular types or sources of data means how the researcher can find the data researcher can find out the data through the two types first is primary data and second is secondary data now what is the primary data primary data is the collected for the purpose of current research project whereas secondary data is collected for some other research purpose it is a collected fresh by the researcher and is based on survey method observational method and experimentation and it is an expensive and difficult to acquire means primary data is difficult to acquire the researcher can uh, collect the primary data through the uh, survey method observational method questionnaire method and experimentation method okay and second is secondary data now what is the secondary data actually secondary data is collected from external sources secondary data is collected from external sources such as tv radio internet magazines books and the newspapers also actually secondary data analysis involves a researcher using the information that someone else has gathered for his or her own purposes means secondary data means a literature or a data which is gathered by the someone others secondary data analysis involves a researcher using the information that someone else has gathered for his or her own purposes researcher learn researcher learn secondary data analysis in an attempt to answer a new research question or to examine the alternative perspectives of the original question of a previous study okay now there are two other types that is qualitative data and quantitative data now what is a qualitative data and quantitative data you know the qualitative research and quantitative research in the types of research i described it now but what is a qualitative data qualitative data is the description of the things qualitative data is the description of the things made without assigning numeric values for example facts gathered from the unstructured interview it needs the researcher's in, uh, inter interpretation and next is quantitative data quantitative data entails measurement in which the numbers are used directly to represent properties of things it is a ready for statistical analysis so these are the qualitative data and these are the quantitative data next we will discuss about the sources or methods of primary data and secondary data actually i told you that primary data 
it is based on surveys observations and experimentations now what is an observational method actually actually primary data is based on the observational method an observation method it is about collecting primary data by investigators own investigators own direct observations of relevant observe, direct uh, observation of relevant people action and situations without asking from the respondent actually we can say that the observational studies or observational data are ones where researcher observe the effect of a risk factor diagnostic test treatment or either inter in intervention without trying to change who is or isn't exposed to it actually uh, observational method is about the collecting a primary data by investigators own direct observation of the relevant people action and situation without asking from the respondent observation can yield information which people are normally not willing or able to provide okay next is survey method now what is the survey method actually sometimes observation method is supplemented with survey method this approach is most suited for the gathering descriptive information and this research may be direct or indirect now how we can do that survey actually survey actually actually we can take a surveys like online surveys phone surveys next we can do the face to face to face surveys so this kind of surveys we can do actually survey method means survey the research method we can say can be the derived based on the two critical factor survey research tool and time involved to conduct research there are three main surveys research there are three types of main survey uh, main survey uh, main surveys research method divided uh, divided based on the medium of conducting survey research and the first one and the first one is online or email surveys online surveys research uh, research is one of the most popular survey research method today the cost involved in an online survey research is extremely minimal and the responses gathered are highly accurate means one questionnaire sent on the mail or online mail or internet and then they collected the data okay now the second is phone using a phone or using uh, the survey research conduct the survey research conduct over the telephone can be useful in collecting data from the more extensive section of the uh, population target population there are chances that the money invested in phone surveys will be higher that other medium can be times required will be higher means some means the researcher can call to a uh, targeted people and collected the data through the phone and the next is face to face survey researcher conduct face to face in depth interviews in situations where there is a complicated problem to solve the response rated for this method is the highest but it can be costly okay so these are the important types of the survey methods means we can say that there are two other types of surveys also they are the uh, exp they are the structured survey and unstructured surveys now what is the structured surveys actually the use of formal list of the question i am talking about the structured survey okay the use of a formal list of question to be asked from all respondent in the same manner that is called as a structured survey and what is the unstructured survey unstructured survey means they give the interviewer the flexibility to probe respondent and direct the interview according to the answer that is called as a unstructured survey the next type is the next method is questionnaire method now what is the questionnaire method actually the questionnaire depends upon research ob objectives for each objective or research question list all the associated question that a researcher want to answer through through study then the information required to answer them is listed and finally the questions are listed a questionnaire consists of a set of question presented to a respondent of a, a respondent for answers okay now we'll discuss about the uh, experimentation survey actually what is the experimentation survey 
इट इज अ वेयर अ रिसर्चर वेयर अ रिसर्चर इंट्रोड्यूस एन इंटरवेंशन एंड स्टडी द इफेक्ट एक्सपेरिमेंटल स्टडीज और एक्सपेरिमेंटल डाटा कलेक्शन आर वेयर यूजली रैंडमाइज मीनिंग द सब्जेक्ट आर ग्रुप बाय चांस मीन्स रिसर्चर डू द एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन एंड देन कलेक्ट द डाटा एंड कम टू द कंक्लूजन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन इन प्राइमरी डाटा मेथड्स नाउ वॉट आर द सेकेंडरी डाटा मेथड्स I told you that secondary data analysis involves a researcher using the information that someone else has gathered for his or her own purposes. Researchers learn a secondary data analysis in an attempt to answer a new research question. But here there are two types of secondary data method. First is internal method and second is external method. Now what is the internal method actually? Internal met- method means a data which is available within organization and institution institution that is called as an uh, internal method and what and second is external method external method means consisting a personal or personal and public sources that is called as an external method means a data which we can collected from any institution or organization that we can call it as an internal method and those data means those secondary secondary data which we collected from the personally or public domain or public or so, public sources that is called as an uh, external method so these are the sources these are the methods of secondary data methods in the upcoming videos we will discuss about the research sampling so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you